Hi everybody, this is Shane R. Monroe with Monroe World and today we're going to give you a tutorial on how to take your Samsung Gear VR, right? Uh, this is the real early incarnation of virtual reality. This is all based on using some sort of a smartphone inside. We have here the Galaxy Samsung Galaxy S8, which is the uh, tool we're going to be using here. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is you have to have one of these and you need to download all the content that you would like to copy off onto your Quest, right? We have our Quest here. That's where we're going to go. So make sure everything is installed and you've run it at least once, right? That way it downloads any data files or anything else that you might need. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to show you how to get the files off of here, move them over here, and actually how to run the things. So we're going to be looking at a couple of things. We're going to be looking at Plex VR because that seems to be a popular request. We're going to be looking at the game Smash Hit, which like the developers went under or something, and so you can't legally get that. But if you already own it, you can move it over yourself. And then we'll also be looking at a couple of other things that may not work as well, but we're going to experiment together. So um, again, make sure you've got everything downloaded and installed. You've run it at least once. And you will also need a couple of other tools. We're going to have these in the comments. You're going to need Explore File Manager. Um, you could use other file managers, but listen, I know how to use this and it's super easy and it works. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have Explore File Manager installed on your Gear VR device. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you have Explore File Manager installed on your Quest. And we're also gonna be using SideQuest to help us move some files around too. There are ways around that where you can use MTP instead. But I recommend if you don't already have SideQuest up and running, you should probably have it set up anyway. So those are the things, those are the prerequisites that we're going to use for the purposes of this demo. And uh, most of the rest of this is going to be um, done from the devices, so let's do that piece next. All right, for this next part, we're going to go ahead and prepare to move our files. So we're going to be using something called Explore File Manager. This is a free download. Uh, you can get it right off of the Google Play Store. And so the way that um, Explorer works is it's there's two different panes, so there's one side and another side. Whatever you're looking at is considered the source pane. So whatever you do in here and you perform an action, it will do it to the other side. So if I were to select something and hit copy, it would copy to whatever's on this side. So what we're going to do here is we are going to, um, so this is internal storage. This is where we're gonna put our stuff. And I'm going to make a new folder here and I'm gonna just call it Gear VR so we keep stuff together all right and I'm gonna select that folder where to go okay it's already selected no video of mine would be complete without barking dogs all right so we've got gear VR selected now we're gonna go ahead and select app manager and if you don't have app manager available just click on show and then choose app manager from the list of apps these are all the different things that you can tap into with um, Explore, including like Drive and all sorts of other cool stuff, even copying from one Explore file manager to another. We won't actually do it that way for the purposes of this video, but it's still kind of cool anyway. All right, so now we have App Manager. We're going to open that, and you'll see all the apps that are currently installed on your phone, including your VR ones. You might see Dead and Buried. You see Death Horizon. These are bait. These are all uh, Gear VR games. So we said we were going to take a look at a couple of different ones. Plex was one that was requested and also um, Smash VR, or Smash Hit VR rather. And there's a handful of other things that we could be copying over, but for the sake of argument, this is what we're gonna be copying. We'll then hit the copy button and then the APK files are going to be copied over for us. Boom, so now you can see inside of Gear VR, we have two APK files, one for Plex VR and one for Smash Hit VR. All right, so actually we're kind of done with Explorer on this side. We have um, we have exported the APKs. There's some other files we need to look at too, but we're going to look at those once we're on the PC. So our next step is to plug this into our computer, and we're going to get access to the files on here, including those two APK files. Let's go ahead and try to do this with one hand here. All right, so 
I've now plugged that in and we're going to move over to the PC and we're going to get those files and move them over to the Quest. All right, and we're back. It is now time to move the files off of our phone onto our PC and then we're gonna shove them on over to the Quest. So um, if we, I plugged my phone in, so we're on USB as you can see here and I should have a folder called Gear VR. I am going to go ahead and copy that to a, a drive local to my computer because over MTP it won't work with SideQuest, right? So we're going to grab this uh, Gear VR and we're going to drop it on into another uh, location. So I'm going to put this on a USB drive I had laying around. Um, so we're going to copy it here. Those are going to copy our APK files over. Now the next thing that's sort of tricky about Android-based apps is the APK file isn't always the entire program. Sometimes applications set up data folders or OBB, I can't remember what OBB stands for, but essentially it's like a binaries folder. We'll have to copy those too. Now these games may not have anything in those folders, so we may be okay, um, but we do have to check anyway. That's a slow USB drive, my friends. It's a slow drive. So we're just let that copy over. So there's two locations that we have to check. There's a data folder and there's an OBB folder. Eventually, we'll get there. I hope these folders aren't big. We'll be here all day. So if you go into the Android folder on your device, there are two other folders called data and OBB. Inside of OBB, we're going to see if we have any folders for either Smash VR, which we do, or Plex. And I see Plex app and I see Smash Hit. So we're going to grab both of those. We're going to copy. Bloop. We're going to go over to this drive. I'm going to make a new folder called uh, OBB. Hope I copied the right thing. And then inside of OBB, we're going to paste those copies. Okay, there those that was really, really fast. So I'm guessing there was nothing in here. Most of the time, you'd have to do that with some sort of a game. All right, uh, but let's go back. All right, and then we're going to go to Android Data. Ah, a lot more stuff in here. So we are looking for Plex, and it'll have the same name as the other files, right? So we're looking for Com Mediocre Smash Hit. Com probably a lot easier if we had a different view here. Let's go with details. Here we go. So we're looking for Com Mediocre, which we have, and then we're looking for Complex App, which we have. And these are in the data folders. So we're going to copy these. We're going to go over to this other location. We're going to create a new folder. We're going to call this data. Sorry, I'm like working over top of all of these VR stuff. And then we're going to paste those in here. Ah, a whole bunch more stuff coming in here. So that's um, that's probably Plex save stuff, probably caches, who knows. The point is, is games and applications can save data, binary, levels, music, anything they want into those folders. So we have to copy those too. So the APK is not enough. Ah. So this seems to be something that's too long, so this must be a FAT32 drive or something. Great. Well, that's all right, we'll just assume that it worked. If it didn't, I'm sure it'll rebuild whatever those files are. Okay, so now we have on this drive, we have our Gear VR, which has our APKs, we have our data folders, and we have our OBB folders. Now I'm pretty sure these OBB folders have nothing in them, so we're not gonna copy those over, there's no need to. But we are going to copy over the Gear VR, and we're going to copy over the data. So let's start with the Gear VR folder. We're going to drag that into SideQuest. We're going to open up this little guy, and it's going to tell us how far along it is. So it's copying those two files over, and it's done. We'll go back to the folders. We're going to go into the Android folder. We decided we were not going to copy OBB, but we are going to copy data. And that's funny. There should have been another one in there. Hmm. I happen to know that we don't need any data for the other one, but this Plex one we might. Not just for fun, let's go in here. Let's go back to the phone, Android, data, and there should be um, 
mediocre smash VR files. Okay, there really isn't anything in there. So we didn't really need to copy that over. But the Plex stuff, we probably should. May or may not need it, but just assume that this is some game that does need it, right? So we're in data here. We're going to bring this over. We're going to drag it in, and we're going to let it upload them. And there's all those crazy files. All right, so we've got the APKs, but they're not installed, and we've got the data folders. Now all we need to do is go on to the Quest, install the APKs, and we should be good to go, presumably. So let's find out. So let's. Uh, I'm going to stop this video, and we're going to jump inside the Quest, and we'll take it over from there. So. Um, here we are inside the quest, and um, we will already assume that you have uh, Explore File Manager installed, so that'll be under Unknown Sources at this point, which it is. All right, so internal storage, and we can scroll down here to that Gear VR folder. Boom, and we have our two APKs. We simply click and install. Bing, bang, boom. Now the data files are already over there. With any luck, this we'll just walk right into this thing. Installing, come on. Let's see it happen. By all means, take your time. Nothing better to do. Come on. All right, we're not going to open it though. We're going to do the other one too. Smash hit, install. Yeah, it said it was existing because I already did this once. I wasn't going to go back and uninstall it. So I happen to know this one works. Plex, it'll be a surprise to me as well. Done. All right, so we are now ready to go back to our library, go to unknown sources, and let's see what we got on here. We have Smash Hit VR and we have Plex VR. The question is, do they run? And that will be the question. I happen to know that Smash Hit VR actually, or I happen to know that works already. So no surprise on that one. It works just fine. But it's still just as cool of a game as it was before. It's a shame that, um, I didn't say I was good at it. It's a shame that the uh, developers couldn't uh, get this ported over to Quest, huh? But we can still play it, even so. Not enough of that. You didn't hear any sound. Sorry, I didn't rig. I didn't rig up the wireless transmitters. I, I wasn't that dedicated to making this. Uh, I guess unknown sources. Let's hit the Plex. Come on, baby. Be nice to have Plex in VR. Yes and yes. Let's see it. Come on. I honestly don't know if this works or not. I haven't tried it. Hey, so far so good. It didn't tell us to piss off, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, it died. Okay. So what do we do with that? We could go back and delete that data folder and hope that there's some sort of a mismatch and it'll rebuild that. So let's try that. I'm gonna go into Explore File Manager going to go into the Android folder, we're going to go into data, and we're going to find that Plex app. A lot of stuff in here. Of course, we could just go in and easily do this with um, uh, SideQuest as well. So let's grab that. There could be something in here it didn't like, right? So let's delete that. No, no recycle bin, just nuke it. All right, let's get rid of all those temporary files. Now, remember, we had a problem copying files over, too. And that was probably because I have a FAT32 versus uh, NTFS. It was probably some file name problem. The question is, we don't know. So let's get rid of that. We're going to start clean. But this is, a good, this is a good exercise for us to do. Let's go back to the library. Go to unknown sources. We're going to go back into Plex again. And let's just hope it's, um, it's like it starts from scratch here. Assuming nothing. We can hope. We gave it permissions. That's all we can do. 
All right, come on. So the answer is Plex probably needs something that we cannot, we don't have on the Oculus. Be it something that's built into Gear VR, something that Samsung has built in. It's probably a Samsung file playback codec. Who knows? Bottom line is you're probably not going to get it running. But one out of two, we got a 50% hit ratio, not too bad. So that's it. Um, we did the best we could. Plex down on the Plex, up on the smash hit. So one out of two is not bad. I have a feeling that things that require authentication, things that require codecs, things that require low-level system stuff, this is the same thing as if you were trying to take a Google Play app and move it over to the Quest, right? There's a plumbing system that exists inside of these devices. So in Gear VR, it's got the support of a full Android stack, it's got a support of all the Samsung uh, stack of VR um, applications and libraries. Unfortunately, the Quest just doesn't have what it takes to run Plex VR, at least not without a little bit of work. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and you can apply this. Again, many people will say, oh, Shane, you could have done it this way, you could have done it that way. Yes, as with anything with technology, there's several ways to skin a cat. I just happen to choose the tools that I know, which is Explore File Manager and SideQuest. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like the video, hit that little bell, and you'll get notified about all of our other great content. This is Shane Armand Rowe. Thanks for watching.